American made. Okay, we're back for another a day in the shop video. This time, the contraption we're coming up with is also, again, for the CNC machine. And it includes, I know it's bad because it's China, but a little Chinese water pump. And because Karina's had it, she's getting ready to pull her hair out with the mister that I have. Well, I guess this actually takes away the, our cool mister vacuum that we set up over there, but it's okay. This will be way better for parts and everything. We're going to set up a, basically a coolant system because you can buy a coolant system from Tormach, but they're like $11,700 and I don't have that much money. So we bought a, I've got a tote sitting right over there. I've got this pump sitting in a tote. I've got some P clear PVC line that we're gonna run from the tote up and over. And then I'm gonna zip tie this thing basically as a spray nozzle. And then I'm going to uh, drill and run a drain back to the tote that we have in there. But I don't know what we're gonna use for coolant yet because I have, we were using a mixture of this cut stuff and windshield wiper fluid, but our spray patterns are very erratic and it would spray sometimes and it would get clogged up and not spray other times and it just got really just pissed off. So we took the cutting fluid out and just use um windshield wiper fluid and it definitely didn't like that it's not i guess it's not slick enough because it ended up dead stopping the bid it just it wasn't wasn't lubricating so we're gonna do another mixture of that and there and we may just come up with a whole concoction i might just end up putting water or i don't know what actual flood like i don't know what coolant people actually use for cncs i should look that up but for now we're done with the other stuff. Karina is ready to have something better and we're gonna give it to her. Right? Right. Right. Let's get this thing on there and see if we can't make something cool happen. All right, so I got my pump set up, got our line ran up, over, zip tied. I've got a hole drilled. I've got a flange. I'm gonna goop the bottom of this flange and stick it up there. Then I've got some drain line here. And I even got this, I'm gonna drill a few, a few, a bunch of holes in the side and glue it on here so that way it can try to keep all of this from getting in polluting our uh, coolant. So I know this is probably all very crude and you're going to tell me a hundred ways I'm doing it wrong. But for now, we got to get this thing going and get us some coolant. So I'm sure there'll probably be a bunch of variations and probably be better off just buying the right thing. But I just want to see how well this works for now to get us by until I can't afford or find a used coolant setup for sale. So. Bear with me. Okay, we have fluid. We're not leaking anywhere yet. My drain is actually working. And the cutting fluid we had, you're actually supposed to dilute it with water and I never knew that. So see it says, uh, recommended concentration with water is something percent. You can't read it. So I just poured all that we had left into there. So we'll see how well the chips do not getting in there. I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom of this. So that way the chips can still pile up on this and it should still be able to drain under and through there. Um, yeah, so we've got cutting fluid, grinding fluid mixed with water and 
we're pumping. I've got it on like the lowest setting, one of the lowest settings. I might even turn it down a little more, but uh, heck and heck yeah. Nothing left to do but try it. Yay. Do the honors. Whoa, that's gonna start spraying everywhere. Here goes nothing. That's a lot of flow. I wonder if our cabinet's gonna seal. Probably not. That doesn't sound good. I think. Pretty sure we're gonna have to change out our uh, bit because we've done almost 70 spacers on this bit and with it being non-coolant before the bits just the end mills just don't last as long and this thing I think I just need to change out to a new end mill because this one is struggling and the cuts don't look that great so and I felt the end of the end mill is just really dull so we're gonna change it out but the coolant it's working very good. It's draining, it's pumping, it's draining, it's pumping. So I'm super happy with that. All right, we're a whole day down of using the uh, new flood coolant setup. So it is building up a little bit to where it actually has to overflow. Even though the holes I drilled in there are still draining, we do have a lot of uh, chips in the fluid, but I've done a lot of machining. I mean, this, we're taking this big chunk of aluminum and turning it down to basically nothing. So with that being said, what I can do, I think I'm gonna put a bypass valve to where I can pump all the fluid out and then vacuum out all the chunks because this piece here isn't actually getting any aluminum inside of it. Um, if it is, it's very minimal. So I could just pump this out um, because the pump has a screen on it and then vacuum that out and we're good to go. I mean a lot of this stuff is still staying in here And I don't have an auger. So this is just inevitable, but To say I could use this for a whole day and not have to clean it out I mean, I could probably go a couple days without cleaning it out. It's pretty cool. So and this is all reusable like it's Circulating I'm not having to put new fluid in there every other day or whatever and also the parts look way nicer the more fluid you put on them the slower you go obviously they're just man they look freaking awesome and also i'll tell you i changed to a four flute which most people say don't use a four flute on aluminum but this machine just doesn't have this machine doesn't have enough power and with a two flute i i gotta spin it so fast and i can't move fast enough so with a four flute i can spin it 10,000 rpm and i can move a lot faster because it's actually um you know taking those chunks faster than a two or a three flute would um and it just it seems way happier with a four flute and it's cuts just just as good um obviously with a higher horsepower machine that i can have more torque that uh the four flute wouldn't be as desirable as a two or three i guess but this is all I got for now. So I reached out, I reached out to Tormach and they didn't want to work with me. So I'll just be buying hopefully a new Tormach soon, sooner than later. <laughs> um, they have a new robotic arm that they make and a big brand new machine that they just came out with. And obviously this is the smallest machine they make. So I'd love to have a bigger one, but they're not currently seeking any partner programs. So I'm just going to save my money, save my pennies and hopefully buy a new one. But 
Uh, needless to say, my $20 Amazon pump, my $20 hose setup, and my free tote that I got from upstairs, I'd say it turned out pretty freaking good. So uh, I have I actually have some really big news, and I haven't told anybody, you know, I haven't told a lot of people, but um, right now we're in the works. It is not technically a done deal. We still have one more meeting, but I've bought product liability insurance. Um, Karina has been packaging, Court has been welding, so we can get everything buttoned up, packaged up, labeled. I made SKU numbers for the parts, but we've been doing all this because uh, I've worked out a deal with Summit, thanks to Jason at 10 Soldiers. He made the introduction to uh, Cody at Summit, um, and we're putting together a few pallets of parts for them. They're doing a big buy-in of my parts, so sooner than later, you'll see uh, Nikki Bobby Inc. NBI products on Summit, which is like <laughs> surreal to me. You know, it's like a dream come true. You know, I've, I ordered Summits. My mom ordered me an X-Pipe and a fuel cell from Summit for my birthday when I was like 15 for my Malibu. And I used to sit there and stare at Summit catalogs from the time I was in grade school, school until I had my first car and just hope and dream and just wish that I could buy all these parts. And now for me to have parts that are going into that catalog that you know I designed and we make, are, it's just, I, it, it, words can't describe the satisfaction and the gratitude I have for you know the people that helped me get here and the opportunities that have been presented to me so thank you all for watching um, this is YouTube has been a big part of it obviously I don't have the biggest channel but again if you work hard enough and try hard enough dream big big things happen so like I said keep an eye out for that and uh I have some big things in the works for the A-body stuff. That's all still in the works. We've just been busy. <laughs> so bear with me, man. There's no shortage of content coming. Um, I will be out of town for like a week and a half. Me and Alex are going to Scotland. So I will be out of the country, off the grid. But when I get back, it's full bore ahead and we're gonna get after it. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.